Hello my loves, hola mis amores. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. It is Chrissy G and if you are back, welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to touch base on the question I asked the other day, which was, are you tired of chasing after Manjaro? And if you are, or maybe if you are one of the people that are struggling to get your hands on it, maybe you've been denied because you're not a type 2 diabetic, or for whatever reason, you're jumping off the Manjaro train like so many people are doing now just because of the difficulty of the medication, then this video may be for you as this could be a great alternative to taking the Manjaro medication. So in today's video, I'm going to address the following questions. I'm going to address what a compound semi-glutide is. I'm also going to speak about how I started on this medication myself, was I successful on it, and how much did I lose? I will also touch base on will insurance cover, how much does it cost, all that good stuff. I will also explain how you inject this medication and show you exactly how it works. And last but not least, I will go over is there a compound to the trizepatide, which is what Manjaro actually is. All right, so what is a compound semiglutide? So many people are asking. I'm surprised that it's not as popular um, just because it's been around for many many years so when i initially went to dr z and explained to him my struggles he saw that my a1c levels were borderline diabetes and all that good stuff he initially said look there's this medication it's called semi-glutide it also go goes by the name of ozempic wigobi wigobi is actually fda approved for weight loss but it's very expensive and most insurance plans do not cover it he's like but I can send a prescription to a compounding pharmacy. They can make the medication there for you and you can pay out of pocket. It is private pay. Insurance does not cover this either, but it's a fraction of the cost of what you would pay for Wigobi. So he said, what do you want to do? Do you want me to submit Wigobi to your insurance and see how much they're willing to cover? Or do you just want to do the semi-glutide? I said, well, let's go ahead and start with the Wagovi and see how much my insurance will cover. And if it doesn't work, then we will send it over to the compounding pharmacy. That was the extent of the conversation. So a day later, the um, admin calls me and she's like, hey, your insurance is willing to pay. I don't know. It was like uh, two, $300. I was still going to end up paying $960 for Wigovi a month. Okay. If I was guaranteed to lose 20, 30 pounds a month, then I think it would be totally worth it. But the fact is that it's not a miracle weight loss drug as many of you have now noticed, right? Because you still have to put in the work to lose the weight with this medication. So I was like, no, you know what? Let's go ahead and do the compound version. I'll go, pay, I'll go pick it up and all that good stuff. So that's what I did. I ended up choosing to do the compounding um, semi-glutide, right? But I said, no, I'll just go ahead and go to the Woodlands. He was under the impression it was going to be closer to $200. But to my surprise, they let me know that it would be about $125. And I think it depends on the dosage because I paid $135 for the last dose that I picked up there. But the first go around was about $125. Okay. So what does compounding mean? And not everyone has a compounding for pharmacy readily available in their area. There are compounding pharmacies everywhere. They're just private, so they're not as big as a CVS or a Walgreens. They're usually private owned. And like, even though I'm in a big city, I'm only aware of two compounding pharmacies in my area. So that being said, I went and picked up my medication and that's how I started the semi-glutide. Now I did this, I did the compound semi-glutide for two months and then I got a sample box of the actual Ozempic from my doctor. So I did the compound for two months and Ozempic for a month and I lost 21 pounds in 12 weeks with the compound slash Ozempic version, okay? Um, I did the same thing once I jumped over to Manjaro. And so people asked me, well, why did you move from the semi-glutide over to Manjaro? Well, because at this point I had now, I was now in, I believe almost four months and I had lost the 21 pounds and I happened to go see Dr. Z the week of Manjaro being released. Obviously he um, treats a lot of diabetic patients. So he's up to date with the medications that are out for diabetic patients. And so right away he was like, hey, there's this new medication that just came out. It's not FDA approved for weight loss, but it's a trizepatide, which is similar to the semi-glutide, but the makeup compound of it's a little bit different because not only is it a GLP-1 
one, but it's also a GIP. And so anyways, long story short, most of you have seen my journey and so you understand what the difference is, but long story short, he said it would be better. He said right now there's a coupon for it, which makes it very affordable. And since it was brand new, we didn't know a whole lot about it. And as many of you know, this is why I started my journey and sharing it with everyone because there wasn't a lot of research on it. And I don't know if you're anything like me, but I run to YouTube and Google to research things. And so I didn't see anyone talking about it. So that's why I wanted to put myself out there in my journey and my experience with these medications. So I jumped on the Manjaro bandwagon early on, like literally the week that it had been released. And I saw just as great success on Manjaro as I had on the compound semi-glutide. Um, it's just that, hey, who do, who's gonna pass up a $25 coupon if they can, right? So I was on Manjaro for 12 weeks and lost in those 12 weeks the same amount. I think it was like a pound or two more on Manjaro than I did the semi-glutide. This last visit that I seen Dr. Z, he was like, you know, that's it. You know, it's getting harder and harder to get on Manjaro because if you don't have a type two diagnosis, I'm not sure if you'll be able to get it. I know you're grandfathered in with the old coupon, but doesn't guarantee that you'll be able to get it. So what do you want to do? And I said, well, is the compound version of semi-glutide still an option? And he's like, yeah, that's, that's always going to be an option. And I said, okay, well, let me try to see if I can get this box of Manjaro. And if I can't, then I will ask for the compound version. And so that's what happened. So I fortunately was able to get my prescription filled. And so I said, this is probably going to be the last box that I use of Manjaro. And if I don't hit my goal weight, which I only have like eight pounds to lose, it's just that I'm not focused like I was in the beginning because I am happy with where my body is at and how I feel right now. But ultimately I wanted to get down to 185 just to secure my bag basically like I want to secure my under 200 weight loss and that way if I do gain a pound or two here then I have wiggle room versus me being right at 195 if I gain a pound or two I'm like borderline 200 pounds again so that's my whole theory of why I want to be at 185 um, so to say that the success was just as good with both medications, you guys don't feel nervous about taking the semi-glutide again before trizepatide existed. Many, many people had been, uh, perfectly successful on the semi-glutide version. Okay. So that basically covered how I started on this medication and how much weight I lost, right? So a lot of people are asking me, especially on my TikTok channel, they're asking me, does insurance cover this? Because you know, right now I'm only paying $25 for Manjaro. Well, no, usually private insurance does not cover compound pharmacies. I don't know why, I don't know a lot on the subject, so I'm not even gonna try to say anything regarding the matter. What I do know is that most insurances are, I don't believe they cover compound because they're actually compounding the medication, right? It's not a labeled medication. So um, I was more than willing to pay the 125 because Honestly, I'm eating a lot less, so I'm not spending as much money on lunch or dinner. So really, it pays for itself very quickly because a meal costs anywhere between 10 to $15 now. So the medication pays for itself double, triple time to me. I also was still saving because even with insurance, Wagovi was gonna cost me $900. So I would much rather pay the 125. Another question I get often is, can I use the coupon? So no, the coupon is strictly for Manjaro, right? If you go to the Manjaro website, you can download that coupon and use it for Manjaro. I mean, you almost can't even use the Manjaro coupon for Manjaro at this point, so much less for any other medication. There are no coupons for the compound, and then the cost is gonna vary between facilities and states and locations and availability, right? So I, I'm not sure, just because I'm paying about 125 to 135 a month doesn't mean that's how much you'd pay. There's people who are saying they pay less than that. There's people who are saying they pay more than that. So it really just depends in your area, your facility, and like I said, availability, correct? Is there a compound trizepatide? I don't know. It seems that there is. From what I understand, some people were arguing and saying, no, there's not. There's a patent on the medication for Eli Lilly, and so they do not compound trizepatide. And then I have the people who are saying they are compounding trizepatide because they know the makeup of the medication at this point, but they add other things like B12 so that it's not the same medication at that point, right? So when you alter it and add another additive to it, then it's no longer the same medication as the traditional trizepatide, right? 
So from what I've heard is that they are compounding the trizepatide medication at this point, except that they're adding things like B12 so that it makes it a different medication. That would definitely be a conversation that you have with your doctor. I did ask Dr. Z about it and he had not heard that they were compounding. He said, if you find out, let me know. I'd, I'd love to hear about that, but I haven't really done a whole lot of research. This is just based on other people's commentary, um, other um, uh, nurse practitioners that I have on TikTok that are letting me know that there are at this point compounding trisepatide. I probably should call my pharmacy and ask if they do because if they, I'm sure Dr. Z would know by now because that's his number one pharmacy, but um, I'll definitely make that call. And if I do, I'll upload a short and let you guys know when I find out. So stay tuned. For so now, how do I inject this medication? So I will briefly go over how you inject and how the medication is packaged because I do have a video where I explain the entire process. I mean, as far as even disinfecting the vial to how I injected it and all that good stuff. So I will make sure that I link that video at the end of this video. So if you're interested to go see how I injected the semi-glutide, then you guys can go watch that video. I promise it is not that bad because I am a weenie when it comes to needles and I, I don't even like, I used to be brave and be able to watch them put needle in me when they're like drawing blood and stuff like that, but no more. I think the older I get, the more queasy I become. And so now when they're gonna draw blood or something, I'm just like looking the other way because I don't wanna pass out looking at myself. That being said, I'm able to inject myself perfectly fine. Like I haven't had any issues injecting myself. This is a little bit different because it is not a pen like you are used to injecting with Manjaro or I think Saxenda. I will say that it's just, it's kind of like Ozempic because Ozempic has a needle exposed and so you actually see yourself inject versus like Manjaro where the needle is hidden and you don't see the needle at all. You do is place it against your skin. So to me, it was nothing difficult. I actually liked this method better at the beginning just because I felt secure when injecting myself. Like I could see it physically happening versus like the pens. A lot of people are like, I can't tell if I injected myself. Like how do I know that I did it right or that it went into my skin? And so with this method, you're not at all questioning yourself. Like you know you did it correctly. So the, the semi-glutide is gonna come in a bottle like this. This is just an example. This is actually HCG and I did this many, many years ago. Um, but I'm the type that keeps medicine for forever, even though I know I should throw it away. It's been in my refrigerator. And so this is what the vial looks like though with the semi-glutide, except that it's a dark colored vial because it's not supposed to be exposed to sunlight and stuff. Um, this one's obviously clear, but it's in a vial very much like this. And then this is the needle that you use. So this is like a diabetic needle, right? And so I'll show you guys. It's very small, it's very thin, I promise you. You don't even feel it going in either. Like it's very small, it's tiny, I mean. It's a very small needle. Uh, it's smaller than a sta staple, staples are thicker than this. And so this is what the needle looks like. And of course it comes, so you know, you would disinfect the vial and then they would tell you whether you're gonna fill, you know, to the five, to the 10, to the 15, whatever it is, it's usually five or 10. Um, and so you would put the needle in here, you would, eat, you know, take out how much ever you need. So like if it's 0.5 or 0.10, you just take out what you need and then that's it. You inject this just like you do the pen. You either do it in your abdomen, you do it in your thigh or do you do it in your arm. It's a subcutaneous injection, just like the pen. It's just that now you're actually using a needle. You guys, you see, I bent it. It's so thin that like I bent this one and it's this is trash anyways you guys it's just, i just used it for an, an example for you guys but this is basically it and then you choose your spot you disinfect where you're going to inject it's a quick in push medication out and quick out so it's really really easy you guys i promise you i actually like i said i liked this method in the beginning better just because it was easy and foolproof to me um, obviously you're going to check there's no air bubbles when you inject and all that good stuff. But yeah, so that's how that works. Super easy. Um, you put the vial back in the fridge, leave it there till the following week. It's a once weekly injection, just like Manjaro, just like Ozempic and all those medications. So definitely that is a plan B. It's not a trizepatide like Manjaro, but it's a semi-glutide. And trust me when I say the hunger suppression is works just as well on the semi-glutide as it does the trizepatide, okay? Um, like I said, Ozempic is hard to get also if you're not a type two diabetic. So in most cases, that's when doctors would prescribe Wegovy for you because Wegovy is the only one FDA approved for weight loss, but 
definitely getting a compound version of the medication would be you know phenomenal for a lot of you if you're struggling and you were doing well on Manjaro and now you can't get on it this is definitely something to think about ask your doctor about it or your healthcare provider um, I do know that sequence does prescribe this sequence is one um, I'm not sure about push health and all that but I have already had people who say hey I'm on sequence I already called they said yes they do it and so I'm going to go you know I'm switching over to the compound semi-glutide I hope you guys found this video helpful please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to continue learning I you guys know that even if I don't stay on the journey I try to update you as much as I can with what's going on with the medication and all that good stuff I would love for you guys to stay and share your journeys with me. My journey, life after Manjaro is happening pretty soon. I only have three 10 milligram shots left. And so I'm hoping that I can hit my eight pound weight loss goal within those three weeks that I have left. And so make sure you guys hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I wish you guys the best of luck. I hope that for those of you who are saying you are able to continue getting your medication, then yay for you. I'm so excited. And for everyone else who is struggling, stick it out. Hang in there. Keep calling different pharmacies. And if you get to the point where you're like, I can't deal with this anymore, the stress has just gone overboard, then remember you have another option, another great option. The side effects are going to be very similar to Manjaro because it's got the same, like I said, GLP receptor agonist. And so most of the side effects I had on, you know, the semi-glutide, I had on Manjaro. So it wasn't any different. What I didn't have on that was joint pain like I did with Manjaro. So I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you so much. Till next time, talk soon.